Ladies and gentlemen, whites and Jews have tried to set me up for a gang war with the Hispanics in Santa Clara County. And some of them may be in secret societies, but most I believe are just offended by my videos and the fact that they can't disprove my martial arts claim, which because of my culture and my philosophy, they will never disprove. So you have to see that they have a gang culture that was given to them by the white man and my culture is given to me for my people. I don't really mean to insult gang culture, but let's be honest now. What do you think is more sacred and important to society? Does society really think I should back down and let everyone who has a complex make a deal and sacrifice morality? Morality is left out of the bargain. Morality is not sitting at the table. There wasn't a single person representing morality sitting at the table when society was planned, is being planned, or will be planned. When you look at it from the point of view of a people gone and lost because they have disgraced their ancestors. And on their way to the abyss, they say, wow, we were greedy. We knew nothing about nature. And nature rejected us. A man who has been rejected by others cannot reject himself. And when he is rejected by those who have rejected nature, he is of God and they are of Satan. Some things are that simple. It is wrong to rape a child. These people are even twisting the definition of that. This thing goes that deep. They are having fun seeing how many of our rights they can take away and how much control they can have over your behavior, especially your sexual behavior, reproductive behavior. These are sickos who are obsessed with not only what kind of people are around in the world, you know, social planning, urban planning, projects, and so on, but controlling their behavior and reproduction. I promise you that. All I wanted was my rightful place in society. They broke down my race, my family. I don't even have anyone I can sit down with as a prince and discuss the next course of action with. I have to make the decisions myself because there is no one I can trust. Do you whites, Jews, and not other non-blacks really think this is fair for my people as things are? When every black organization has spies, Uncle Toms, government agents, etc. that work with non-black Masonic societies in the best interest of the white power structure because Prince Halls and so on were formed during slavery. Masonry, black Masonic institutions are overseer, house nigga, chase down maroon brother, you know, organizations and institutions. And the maroon colonies, you know, long ago, blacks, Hispanics, and natives, we had a certain relationship with each other. And the white man feared that. And now, look at where we are now. How many of you think that's a coincidence? How many of you think that's not going on right now? How many of you think that this is not by design and they are carefully carrying it out and maintaining it? Maintenance. Men go out and get. They are the symbolic head. Okay? And women maintain. And that has been challenged by the Eastern Star and other, um, you know, they called it uh, co co gender or I forgot they called it co masonry, co, co masonic organizations, if you will, or affiliates of, co of this co masonic organization that see it their way. They share their philosophies, and that's why they have different branches, right? Different branches of philosophies under the greater school of thought of Western philosophy, if you will, because it's all connected to the way they, the specific way that they say things based on their cultural disagreements that took place in Africa that led to war and displacement and migrations and all that stuff. You can imagine how it went down. Anyway, so when you look at this thing, do you really think I should back down? Let this play out. Let them win. Why did the president sell us out? Why is gang stalking still going on to my brothers who are being gang stalked? Brothers from all races, of course. Why is this going on? Why, why must we suffer for those dogs? When we are all the same, we are all the children of God anyway. Why do we suffer for those dogs? As children, we should have our free will, our right 
to make our own families and our own cultures, our own nations and languages. God gave us this sacred right. It was that right that came with a punishment because you take the good with the bad and sometimes the bad comes with the good. Either way, it is a divine decision that no man from any background has a right to challenge. I hold these truths to be self-evident that moral relativism is the worst idea humanity has ever had. And morality is something we know deep in our souls that helps us maintain our flow. The morality to know when to tell the joke when your brother is angry and wanting to strike an enemy. The morality to temper and to apply it wisely. Wisdom and morality go hand in hand. If we back down from morality, we back away from wisdom. And that is not a society that values intellect over superstition because true intellect is applied wisdom through acquired skill and mental conditioning. I challenge the New World Order as a true African and a man of God. You can martyr me anytime you want. I proudly die for my people like Okibo and many Biafrans before me. In the name of my uncle, my son, my aunts, my grandmother, I am a true Igbo and I will never abandon my culture. And I apologize to all the non-blacks that I've insulted. If these things are as I think, then we have much to discuss. But don't think I'll bend morally, but we can certainly collaborate.